I worked with a therapist and this therapist was uh, seeing a child at a school and the child was exceptionally disruptive and at school things were not going well in one particular class. Now in this class other children were hit, they were hurt, uh, chairs would fly around, uh, that can be kind of dangerous in a classroom. So, so things were very difficult and um, this child was on the verge of an exclusion. And because this school really worked very hard to try and prevent exclusions, uh, like many other schools, you know, you want to include and not exclude. That is something that's really important. They finally asked the parents to do something. So the parents found a therapist and they started to work with a the therapist. Fortunately, this therapist was trauma-informed and the therapist started to ask the question, why? Why would this child throw chairs in the class? Why would this child attack other children in the, this class? Only in the science class. In all the other classes, the child is okay. So what is going on? And then finally, using this trauma-based uh, principle and seeing this as a trauma-based behavior, found out that each time the child is in the uh, science class and there's any experiments where they use the Bunsen burners, that is when the child's behavior changes. Because the background was when the child was very young, the child visited family members and there was a house fire. But the child was very, very young. So of course, nobody thought that the child would ever remember. Can you see? But this child had an invisible suitcase. And in the invisible suitcase, there was the trauma. And all that we needed for this suitcase to open up and the, the, the uh, trauma-based behaviors to come out was an external stimuli that was similar to that of the original trauma. That is happening on a daily basis. Most behaviors of children in school, out of school, are actually trauma-triggered. And that is why it is trauma-based behaviors. You deal with trauma-based behaviors very different than you actually deal with normal behavioral difficulties.